to do this and watch the four episodes that are actually out right now and um, yeah we're going to be talking about this right here Resident Evil Infinite Darkness and I've watched the four episodes <coughs> you know I don't own Netflix um, I've watched the four episodes and to be honest I'm not happy with it I mean the backstory premise, the whole uh, story idea, I like. Because this is like after Resident Evil 4, where Leon um, rescues the mayor's daughter, and the mayor is in it. Uh, spoilers for those who haven't seen it yet. Don't watch this video. Watch it after you've watched it. But um, for those who don't give a crap and love spoilers, and not to waste their time watching four episodes, um... Yeah, continue watching. Anyway, potential spoilers, and um, probably taken down by Capcom, but I haven't got anything in this video that represents any video clips or anything. I'm just going to pop up some pictures now and again through the nice list of video I in and leave this here in the whole entire recording. So yeah, I've watched all four episodes. And the backstory, yeah, I, I don't know, I like it. It was just... You know, it feels like it ties in from Resident Evil 4, and then obviously this is the bit that they're doing leading up to Resident Evil 6, <coughs> which was a failure. Um, and in this we have the main protagonist, obviously, uh, Leon S. Kennedy. Uh, let me just hide here to make him pop up uh, there. Leon S. Kennedy and Claire. For some reason, wearing glasses. Anywho, not sure why, and yeah, a bunch of other random characters. I'm not sure why she was wearing glasses, but yeah. She's wearing glasses in this. Oh, a, a scene that she was wearing glasses. She's working for Terra Save this time, obviously before Resident Evil 6. Uh, um, Resident Evil Revelations 2, which is before Resident Evil 6. So this basically, in my mind, leads up to Revelations 2. Um, but she doesn't look as old as she does in Resident Evil Revelation, so this is pretty much before. And obviously, timeline wise, it's year 2000, which I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 4 wasn't 2000. But, um, could be wrong. I mean, Resident Evil 2 is 1998. And if you work well, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. I mean, I don't know what. When, uh, I mean, I played Resident Evil 4 a lot, and I can't remember, but I'm sure it's 2004. I could be wrong. But, um, again, I know I didn't really do that well with Resident Evil 4. I just, in the end, played it and enjoyed it. But this is supposed to be after, so it probably not that long after. So I gather, you know, three years ago, so 98, 99, 2000. So, yeah, it makes a bit more sense that this is after Resident Evil 4. Four, and obviously Resident Evil Two just happened you know, three years before. That. <sighs> anyway, I love the idea of it, and it sounded okay. Uh, I mean, watching the trailer, I was like, I'll give this a go. I love the animated movies, you know. The last one that came out, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Damnation? No, 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 it wasn't that one. Uh, Vendetta. Yeah, that's the one uh, where Leon is drunk this time, you know, copying what Chris Redfield did in Resident Evil 6. Uh, yeah, enough said on Resident Evil 6, it was bad. No offence to the people who like Resident Evil 6. I like it as an action game, I just don't like it as a Resident Evil game. But, you know, um, <coughs> to be honest, uh, I like their movies uh, a lot better than this series. Four episodes. I mean, I don't know if they're going to make any more, but. It looks like they are, but to be honest, um, if I sum it down to one word or one thing that reminds me of this film, uh, to a series on Netflix. <laughs> what? Oh, yes, uh, I fell asleep watching the first episode. Um, it, the story is good, 
but the whole premise of the delivery of the story is kind of a bit boring to be honest but it's not bad I mean I'm gonna get myself shot here but this and it's for not that difficult this is better than the poor old W.S. Anderson movies I will say that I mean it's not that difficult uh, you know Paul W.S. Anderson Anywho, the sense of that and uh, continue on. Um, but yeah, story, great. Delivery of the story, not so great, Capcom. But, uh, you know, you'll probably take this video down because I'm being negative about this because it's pretty much boring. Compared to the, you know, those anime and movies you made, this is kind of boring, Capcom. But, um, other than that, I hope you love the filter over it, it looks a bit grainy, but uh, hey ho, it's Resident Evil. Um, but other than that, I recommend people to watch it to make their own opinion, because it's okay, but boring. Um, I mean, if you ain't a Resident Evil fan and you want to be introduced, slowly join this and then watch my videos on all the old Resident Evils. <laughs> Oh, dear God. If you hate the Resident Evil movies like Paul S. Paul w. S. Anderson made, you will love this. Uh, just a little bit more. This is better. But um, other than that, no. Uh, would I recommend it to people? Yes. But at the same time, I want to see your judgment of it. Um, as a huge Resident Evil fan since 96, I'm a bit bored of this one. Uh, would I watch it again? Nope, because I deleted it from my hard drive. Uh, would I be interested in watching the other episodes? Possibly, if they amp it up a bit. Because if this is boring bit, four and four episodes, you know, leads to something good. Um, I'm inclined to see what the next episodes go. Because I had this issue when uh, Sasha Discovery. The first season, I didn't even watch the whole season. Three episodes on board. Uh, I gave it a go again up to six episodes. Wasn't interested. Season two, not interested. Watched one episode and gave up. So hopefully Capcom doesn't go on that trend because this is why I never give up on things when I do enjoy them. So please Capcom or the people that created this, don't do a discovery on this because if you do, you're going to lose fans and I'm not going to watch it. Uh, so... Please don't cock up, please, because I want to watch a good Resident Evil movie or even a TV series. I'd love to see a TV series. And please bring back the other one that was cancelled. So, you know, the, the Arclay Mountain, the Arclay Forest incident, the Arclay whatever, Arclay Mountains, what? Nah. It's okay, it's just a bit boring. So, if you're willing to watch something boring or you've just got nothing else better to do, yeah, check it out. I'm not shitting on it like it has bad Resident Evil 6, but um, if you don't like boring things, don't watch it. If you don't mind about boring things, check it out. But please, Capcom, do not make the mistake that Star Trek did or CBS did with Discovery. That was just boring throughout the whole entire series. I don't even know how they made it this far in, what, season 4 they're on now. Uh, do something like Disney. I mean, Disney not got a good track record, but break it like that, you know, The Mandalorian, I loved all the episodes of season one, and then it was like, I want to watch season two, I watched all the season two, and I can't wait for next year for season three, so please, hopefully these boring segments of the four episodes are just to hook us in to the greatest masterpiece coming up later, and if it isn't, well, I'm going to hate you for the rest of my life, Capcom, but I'm still not going to give up. Because I love Resident Evil. I was a Resident Evil fan since 1996. I'll never give up on you. Because even if you've made Survivor 2. Dead Aim. Gaiden. Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil Umbrella Corps. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. You always tie us back with some good games. Resident Evil 2 Remake. 3 Remake was a bit meh. 7 was good. Revelations 1 was good. 2 was a bit mm, But it was cool to play Barry. And Resident Evil Village. Yeah, you can hook me back in completely. But don't fail with this, please. I know Resident Evil 6 was bad, so please don't make this as bad as Resident Evil 6. Anyway, what are your guys' thoughts? Oh, before that, I will rate the four episodes that come out of this 2 out of 10. Because it was pretty boring, but it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was just boring. The story was great. And 
the characters are great, but the delivery of it was a bit boring. What are your guys' thoughts? Leave them in the comment section below. Please be nice. If you've watched this already, let me know if you have watched it. If you haven't watched it, leave a comment in the comment section below that you know you clicked on the video, you left a like, but you haven't watched it because you don't want spoilers or you don't care about spoilers. And let me know if you're going to watch it if you haven't already. Also, if you're feeling generous, please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this to your friends on social media, follow him on TikTok because I'm on TikTok now, at Dan Samuels 666 link in the description. <sighs> and if you want to follow me on other, any other social medias, they're in the link in the description below as well. If you want to join my live streams, they're every Sunday at 6pm. Uh, Grand Mean Time, UK Time, whatever, work out in your country. And um, yeah, as on that, we hope you have a good day and we'll catch all you, the Game Bros Studio fans, in the next one. Yes, next.